Hi, my name is Robert, and we're going to talk today about the Absolute Accuracy Model 3100 chart reading planimeter. And the first thing we're going to do is check out the CD that it comes with and see what we have to do to get it installed and get it operational. I'm going to put the CD in. I'm going to open the Explorer window to see what the files are inside there. Folder to view the files, and we have three items in the screen. We have the A3100 directory, drivers, and our installation instructions, which are over here. What we need to do is put the A3100 directory into the C drive. So we're just going to copy and paste it. So just copy the A3100 folder and then go to your C drive and then edit and paste that right into there. And you can see there's my A3100 directory ready to go. There's three files in the A3100 directory that we need to be concerned with. There's an a Excel file, that's where our program lies. There's a text file, that's where the that's where the information is stored. And there's an executable file. That that's the program that will read the chart reader and make the text file. The text file is read by the Excel file and is overwritten every time you execute the read chart exe file. Okay, so now that the files are in there, we're going to look at the drivers. There's two different drivers and they're compatible for Windows, XP, Vista 7, and I've tested it on Windows 8, so it works on all platforms Windows at this time. So this was a 64-bit computer. We double-clicked on it and it installed the drivers. Just follow the instructions and then we're ready to plug in the unit. Alright, here's the 3100. We have a USB wire here. It's plugged into the USB plug in the computer. We'll plug it into the port on the side of the device. Makes the usual sound. If we go in here now, it takes about, if, if it's its first time it's run, it's going to take about five or ten seconds for it to register the machine. After that it, it does it a little quicker. So, for the, and now the next step is you can start the Excel program that runs the machine. So we just go to our folder here, we go to our C drive, and we go to A3100 and execute our Excel file. Okay, so our Excel file is open. move our instructions over here now and we don't need that in the background so now we have a nice little dialog box that comes up and it's step by step so we see step one clear the data now it's got all the data from the old reading in here so we just clear it and it all goes away then we have read the data. Before we read the data though, we want to set up our chart reader so it's set up to begin in the right place. So, if we set our arm on the zero line of the chart, we set the cursor so it's on the midnight line of the chart. We select read data. Now, if we have a little number up there, it's no big deal. We just close it and reopen it, and now it's gone. 
So then we raise our cursor up to the line. And notice how the position one changes. Now as we rotate the machine around the curve, we follow the curve all the way around till we get to midnight again. It's going to count on the screen till we get to 192. That's how many segments the day is divided into on this program. So that gives you a lot of resolution. So we're almost there. Data is going in. As you can see, it's streaming the data into the file. We're back on midnight again, and you're going to notice that it's reached 192, and the program will say closing. Just push enter, and it will say OK. It will close, and then we say process the data. Process the data, now the data is going into the screen. Give it a second, and now we choose our scale that we want to use. This happens to be the same chart I used on the last uh, linear chart reader, the 1000V, and it happens to be a scale of 100, so we're going to choose the linear scale and the 100 scale on the chart. Now the data fills in, all the little spaces in there, and we get a reading. Our average reading for this chart, it's a linear scale, from 0 to 100, and the average is 48.6. And that's about it. Now you've got your answer. Gives you a minimum, maximum, divides the hour, and gives you an hour by hour reading of the uh, data on the chart. And now you can fill in the, the all the information, just go step by step. Step five is choose data type. What do you have here? Is it temperature, pressure, differential pressure? You can choose one and it fills, fills it into the chart. What's the color of your line? Red. So now you have that. If In case there's different color lines on the chart. What's the chart type? It's a linear L100. Who's doing the work here? Robert. And what's the chart number? Well, it says L10100. L-10-100. And what's the machine number? I don't know, but you can use the machine number they give you, or it's written on the chart, so we'll just say one, two, three, four, and the date. The date is 01-21-14. Then step eight, we can copy this report to a new sheet. There it is on sheet one. And we could save that or copy it, and we out, and, or it will increment the sheet to a a multi -report, multiple reports on one sheet. And there you have it. Now you've recorded the data. So this chart reader will read both square roots and linear types of charts. You can read multiple lines on multiple charts and make different reports inside of each spreadsheet uh, report. And that's about it. Thank you.